today will mark the ninth straight day of above normal temperatures this month. But when you're dealing with weather in the heartland, you can never get too comfortable. KTVO's meteorologist Troy Mullane has some tips you can do now to get ahead of the cold winter. Yeah, I know it doesn't feel like it, but sooner rather than later, it will finally start feeling like December. Here's a few things that you need to know that you may not be aware of to help you prepare for the cold and snowy weather. So inside your glove compartment, you're going to keep a pair of socks. So here's why. What you're going to do is if there's snow or there's ice and you leave your car outside overnight, you're going to have the socks over the windshield wiper. So if you leave your car outside, the windshield wipers aren't going to stick to the window. Okay, so another thing I've got is some shaving cream. What you're going to do, just put a little bit on a rag here. You don't have to put a ton, don't have to let it sit for too long. But what you'll do is you'll take the shaving cream right here and put it on the inside of your window. Wipe it up and that'll prevent the window from fogging up. If you've got a window that's iced up and you don't have any de-icer, well, there's another solution for that. Take some vinegar and water, about two-thirds vinegar, one-third water, spray it onto the windshield. Then, if you don't have a scraper, take a credit card, just scrape it right off. Here's something else you can do with those socks that you keep in your glove compartment. Put them over your shoes. That will help in gaining better traction when you're on the ice and snow. If you've got a dingy headlight, that could be pretty hazardous. So here's what you do about that. Take some toothpaste. That's right, toothpaste. Put it on a rag and wipe that, just a thin layer of it, right onto the headlight. And once that's on there, you'll get some warm water. Wipe it off and it gets much, much shinier. And you got to have a good emergency kit. So what all does that include? Well, start off with uh, get some jumper cables, maybe a blanket, warm clothes, always good. Always good to have a first aid kit, uh, have a flashlight, bottles of water, a small shovel. Hey, even some snacks are good in case you get stranded somewhere and you get hungry. All good things to have. So what are some things you do to prepare when it gets cold? Let us know on our KTVO Facebook page. I'm meteorologist Troy Moling. Some great tips right there.